Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're here tonight in Woodbury, Tennessee. This is the biggest one-night Big Lick Horse Show in history. And we're here with the Citizens Campaign. We've been out protesting outside the horse show. And we're present tonight to watch uh, what we got here. These are three-year-old mares and geldings. And I'm here to tell you that last year they had a program that's about half the size of a telephone book. And this year it's a little bitty old flimsy thing. Looks like a high school football program. Hublock is winning this battle. We're going to take it to Washington, D.C. In about two weeks, we're going to get a vote in the United States House of Representatives. This isn't going to last much longer. It's 2019. These pads and chains need to come off. This great Lions Club needs to forsake this animal cruelty. We've been all over this town today. We've been to the Arts Center. We've seen the leaders out there. We've had people on the side of the road. We've had the trailers and trucks as they've come in here to the horse show. And we're here now tonight at the horse show. The police chief has been marvelous. We've had a great reception from the lions that are here, and we've communicated with them. They understand that this can't go a whole lot longer. It's been gotten by, but it can't get by. This is a big lick of animal cruelty. It's like rooster fighting, dog fighting, and America's tired of it. Let's get behind the past act. Let's get a vote in the House of Representatives, and let's turn the page on this and not have it anymore. Let's come back out here and let's have the flat shod natural Tennessee walking horse to be out here to celebrate the breed, to celebrate the great state of Tennessee. I'm wearing this cap. This is the UT Balls. The Big Lick Tennessee walking horse is no longer allowed in Neyland Stadium because it's animal cruelty. The whole thing is it's animal cruelty. Woodbury and Cannon County does not need this. Appreciate your support. Thank you for your help. Citizens Campaign.